Okay, everybody, I want to make a brief video of how to set up the ribbon drawing. Um, and I'm not going to do it from start to finish because a lot of it's going to be repetitive and there is a lot of variation. Um, but I want to give you the basic how to. Um, so first off, you're going to need a square sheet of paper, a pencil and a one inch ruler. And you're going to begin by simply drawing a border. So just line your straight edge up and try to do as straight as you can, just make a line straight down. We, we do want to create a little bit of a border. Um, we're going to be using that border uh, as, a, as a tool and as a reference point. So some of your ribbons are going to stay inside and we're just going to choose a couple uh, that defy uh, the border and break out. And we're going to kind of use those as focal points. So um, the basic ribbon, um, we're not going to worry about a lot of folds and stuff like that. Our, our number one goal uh, is uh, to just do a little bit of overlapping um, and to create a really cool effect. So there's, there's a couple types of ribbon that you can do um, based on your skill level. Um, I had you do some ribbon practices, uh, but I'm just going to do an extremely uh, basic uh, ribbon right now. And I'm going to start by touching the border and I'm just going to make my line go from top to bottom. In this case, I want you to think of a parallel line. So this is a parallel line, right? So I'm not going to do a lot of curves in this ribbon. I'm going to just start, let the ribbon get a little thin thick, thin, and you can kind of see the pattern here. And I'm just thinking about creating a parallel line. There's one ribbon. Okay. Now you're going to end up going over this in either uh, a Sharpie or a pen. Um, but not right now, because I'm going to be drawing about 12 ribbons in total. Um, and I'm going to make them overlap. So I want to put a ribbon behind this. Uh, so this ribbon is going to have a little bit more curvature to it. But I'm going to do something called drawing through, where I'm going to purposely draw on top of this. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase it. So remember, when we are overlapping, we're putting something on top of something else. Now this ribbon is going to be a bit more of a traditional ribbon. So I'm going to draw everywhere there's a curve. I'm going to draw down. Um, you don't have to do these ribbons. Uh, this is kind of open uh, to you. If you just want to do the parallel line ribbon, that's fine by me. If you want to do the more curvy ribbon, that's okay too. All right, um, so I'm going to put another one in. And again, I'm going to use this technique of drawing through. So let's make just a parallel line ribbon. I'm going to erase where it goes through. And I'm going to make it wide. Let it come in get bigger. And I'm going to just make this parallel line ribbon. You can draw through and then simply erase. Now, if it's helpful, you can always go in and ink your original top ribbon. Um, but I'm going to add one that, that does go off the border, but I'm only going to let it go off one side of the border. And because I'm a fan of, of drawing these curvy overlapped ribbons, that's, I'm going to make, I'm going to make this one that type. I'm going to make my ribbon look a little tattered. And then I'm going to erase this part of the border. Okay. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill this composition with more ribbons. You do get your two choices. 
One of them is the simple parallel line ribbon, and the other one is the more traditional ribbon that we've actually practiced in class. Um, so go through, edit your drawing in any way you can, and then the last step, once you have all 12 of your ribbons drawn, is you're going to go in and you're going to ink them. All right. So in the next video, I will complete my ribbon drawing, and then I will give you a demo of how to shade it in. So hopefully this video helped you guys, and I will see you in class.